These two want to be in perfect union, and not only in their workout routine. Woody Malinta Chinda and O Chab Chai Don are more than just training buddies. The pair fell in love 12 years ago and have been together ever since. Three times a week they start their day with a workout. They say it helps their bodies and their relationships stay in shape. Me and my partner were always on the go all the time, working, getting tasks done. I think the only time that, that we actually get, get to spend together, known as quality time, is during our morning workouts like, like today. Woody is a well-known TV presenter in Thailand. For more than a decade, he's been in the public eye. When he came out four years ago, it made big headlines, not all of them kind. Woody feels Thailand still has a long way to go towards full acceptance of sexual minorities. He welcomes the new bill as an awakening for Thai society. People just started talking about this seriously over the past year. It's like, poof. Now everyone's like, OK, what's civil partnership? OK, so do gays really need to get married? I mean, well, you know, the conversation's out there in a society that has never talked about this. Nada Chayajit is an LGBT activist. She acknowledges that a civil union would bring some improvements for same-sex couples, for example, when it comes to succession. At the same time, like many activists, she feels the move could entrench their status as second-class citizens. If the law has been discriminated by itself, it's difficult to set the mind to, to create the mindset for the society to understand that we are equal. So people will look at us like, ah, oh, you are a uh, second citizen because you cannot uh, adopt uh, children, you cannot enjoy um, social welfare, which is, which is a huge move for, from, from my point of view. So instead of taking baby steps to take some rights, I would go for full rights. Woody and O take a different view. They feel Thailand isn't ready for full marriage equality. Demanding all might just result in achieving nothing. If you push too hard, you might be aggravating the people that's living here. You know? So it's about knocking the doors, opening the doors one by one. It's a first step. I think it's a very important first step. And if we, if we manage to get this first step right, we will still be the very first in Asia or in Southeast Asia to, to get that. And um, I think uh, that that in, it's on its own is such an achievement both for Thailand, for the region. It's something we, we can be proud of. Most of the heavy lifting is done. What's left now is the vote in Parliament. Should the civil union bill pass, Woody and Oat want to be among the first same-sex couples in Thailand to legally tie the knot.